how you do it, boy. We're uh, right here in Harrington, going through Harrington now on our way to Milford. We have a 94 Chevy Cavalier that we're uh, about to tow about two miles down the street. And then we got a little fender bender accident right there in Dover that we got to head to. I don't know exactly where that one's going yet. I guess we'll find out here shortly once they send the call through. Got so much weight on my shoulders And you have to knock me out But I'm still holding the throne You never know till it's over So pretty it hurts Just beware of the thorns You got a glimpse And you can't rest All right, guys, we're out here to Walmart and uh, Milford. This is where the car ended up being. It's a uh, 1994 uh, Chevy Cavalier. Tell me when's the last time you've seen one of them, right? Woo, it's so fucking cold out here, man. But it's uh, two homeless people in a car sleeping in this parking lot for the last two weeks, they said. He used to be a truck driver, lost his job, and uh, haven't been able to gain anything since. Their son works here at Walmart, so they've been sleeping in the parking lot here. Said their son just got paid today, and he said, Dad, go get your car fixed. They said they slept in his car last night with no uh, heat on, nothing. The car would not start anything. I feel so bad right now. Uh, I don't ever film stuff like that, but I gave him a few dollars to go ahead and go get something to eat, um, go get some coffee, go get some stuff like that. It, it doesn't matter how much I gave him, guys. I don't, I don't speak on stuff like that. I'm just telling you guys just what I did and everything. But we're going to go ahead and get set up real quick and get this up the street because they definitely need a fix. It just seems like it's a starter because their battery is actually good. But uh, let's go ahead and get set up and I'll get it up the street. camera in it's getting fucking wet but uh I'm gonna get loaded up I wanted to show y'all this too that when you go to put this on and there's ice make sure you break that off and don't get lazy because it is very important especially in weather like this to have that tow light on guys it is fucking nasty outside man oh my god dude look All right, guys, we made it up here. This is the uh, Kent Auto Sussex Care. Kent Sussex Auto Care, whatever it is. It's like a little, I guess a little mini dealership or something. I don't know, but uh, we got this up here. I'm going to get it unstrapped, and I'll uh, get to this next car in Dover. So we're on our way up to Dover now. We're coming through uh, Magnolia right here in Delaware. We're about 14 minutes away. Um, just got off of Route 1. Probably heading out to the back roads to 13. But uh, like I said, we're 14 minutes away, seven and a half miles. And this is for a Ford Fusion. I know the customer did leave the keys. He did end up leaving because, like I said, it's fucking nasty outside, so. I'm gonna be safe, put the camera down, and get back on the road. 
We finally just found this car. They said it was in South Dupont Highway. And it was really North Dupont Highway, 15 minute difference. But we just finally found it in the middle of this parking lot. Look at this. I could tell my man had a bad fucking day. Look. Look like my man from PA. But he drive, he got a uh, a little these little things. He left the passcode real quick. There it goes. That's pretty cool. Make sure all them unlock. All right now. He left his key so. It's the only reason I'm smoking a cigarette. Mind you, I do not ever pull up smoking a cigarette on a job. I just feel that's disrespectful, but uh, let's get these pictures. They hit him really, really fucking good, man. Right in that quarter panel, so that's definitely, uh, that's definitely probably total, I think. That, that piece ain't gonna be able to get fixed. boy I don't know why the truck has been uh when I pick it up I don't know if it just needs to be greased or need some more hydraulic fluid but I guess I'm gonna check that when I get back to the shop let's get a thumbnail but uh it's actually going right down the corner the caliber collision It's literally like right down the street, but uh, let's go. If you guys aren't that experienced and you're just starting a company and new to it, then Always be cautious out here in the snow. If you decide to take calls in the snow and decide to get out in icy roads or massive snowfall or snowstorm, be cautious, but never be scared. Don't ever be scared because being scared can get you hurt. Know what you can do, know what you can't do. But never be scared on the road. All right, guys. Let's get this right up the street and then uh, we're going to get back to the lot for a little while because I know my limits and it's getting really icy on the road so I'm not going to take too far of a call away from home but I am still going to be taking calls. All right guys, I'm gonna go in here real quick and see where they want this car. This parking lot's kind of full and they're going through remodel, so let's go see where they want it. We're about to drop it right here real quick and then we're gonna drive it around to the back end. 
of the lot there's storage in and she's moving slow today guys I don't know what's going on with it all right let's go this shit's fucked up She still drives. Fucking back tire ain't fucked up or nothing. Sounds like it might rub just a little bit. I've been back here before in this parking lot. I could have made that. Like I was saying guys, if this is something you're truly passionate about, then no matter what, you'll make it happen and you'll make it do what it has to do to uh, overcome everything. No matter what, if you really want it to happen, you'll make it happen and you'll make sure everything is paid, maintenance gets done, truck gets fixed, calls get met. You'll make sure shit gets done if this is truly what you want. With that being said, I hope everyone out there is staying safe on these nasty roads if you're living up in the sections that are getting hit right now by snow. And um, and if you're a new owner operator or someone looking to get started, I wish you guys all the best. Do a little research, a little background information, a little digging. Get a little started behind the scenes before you actually pull the trigger. That's what I did. I had a whole year before I actually got my truck to get everything done. I recommend doing that so that way you're not opening your doors and having a bunch of overhead costs while you're trying to find different motor clubs or different places to repo or different lots to impound or just different police agencies. Whatever route that you take, just do some research, get in with some people, network, do what you got to do to make it happen. I'm about to put together a couple tutorial videos. It's going to be a three-part series. And uh, I'll fill you guys in more with that in the next video. But if you're out here in this nasty weather, stay safe. If you're trying to get a company, stay blessed. Do what you got to do. Stay determined. Don't lose focus. And just keep pushing, guys. With all that being said, please share this video. Smash that like button. And as always, guys, love y'all. There's a wind and it's blowing. There's a current that's running deep. I can't see but I know it That something's not what it's meant to be Hearing brother against brother now Anger grows on divided ground Sometimes I think that I lost the sound Of the calm inside of me I wanna see love make a comeback I wanna feel hope when it runs out I wanna see everybody joining in Until kindness wins
me if I was falling If I was down, would you even see? I'm so tired of calling Out for someone to notice me I've been down on my knees for so long Crying, please, where were you when I was hurting? Now that I pull back the curtain